Welcome back for another video. I'm Ehabad, a free-to-play endgame player in Raid Shadow Legends. Today we're going to take a look at the Scarab boss and the approaches I took to beat it when I first cleared it. We certainly can solo it, and once you unlock Urost, he is the undisputed King of Scarab. In this rotation, you can even clear Scarab 100 on the hard difficulty in zero turns, which is precisely what I did in this cycle. Before you unlock Urost, however, you can also solo Scarab with Virgis, and the recently buffed Skull Lord Valgal is excellent for it. There are others who can also solo it as well. However, those looking for maximum efficiency may not have, or may not want to build, these other champions just for Scarab. So how can we best approach it with accessible champions? Essentially, we must turn me to control the boss and ensure it never takes a turn. We also must do so under a shield 100% of the time. We could use Blood Shield accessories to achieve the shield. However, as these are locked behind CVC and RNG, let's assume these are not an option. There are only a handful of champions that can maintain team-wide shield with 100% uptime. Valkyrie, Miscreated Monster, Lodric, and Metal Shaper, I believe, are the only options. Here, we will use Metal Shaper, a rare and only at level 40, because why waste resources beyond that which we need to, right? For TM control, Visix will be the heart of our team. Her decreased speed will be critical to ensure we keep the turn meter down on the boss, and her A1 will help us keep the turn meter under control. However, do note, as she steals turn meter, she cannot be too fast, else she may lap our shielder. Armagut will also come along, the infamous uncommon with great turn meter control on his A1. For the final two spots, I will demonstrate with two cold hearts. Allure, of course, is also fantastic, particularly if you can bring her an Affinity Breaker. The truth is, these two slots could be filled with anyone with full two TM depletion on a four-turn cooldown. People such as Lissandra, Soulbond, or Lua are perfectly viable. Nethro is another champion who would work brilliantly for this. In fact, I used him in place of Visix before she was buffed. You will want at least one champion in Destroy Set to break the shield, else you'll be waiting an extremely long time for this run to finish. Right, let's jump into the run and see how it plays out. Right, so the first thing to be aware of is we have Warchiefs in both waves. Their reflect damage will cause us to take uh, quite a few heavy hits, particularly uh, Visix, who I have built with a, a reasonable amount of damage to help me clear these waves. So she will take quite a lot of a, of a hit on um, on the reflects. So with the other champions, I'm going to aim to try and do as much damage to the war chiefs as possible, so that Visix isn't uh, responsible for all the reflect. So I'll use both my heart seekers there, and then I'll heal my Visix with my metal shaper, and then with Armiga I'll drop the TM on the other. We'll drop TM with Physix. We'll drop TM with an A1. We'll drop TM with another A1. And we're just managing the turn meter across the board. You can see where this Physix has taken a lot of damage now. Hopefully it won't steal the shield, but he did, which is a bit annoying. Again, we'll go for the TM drop. Two. We'll do the same thing. So we'll try and damage the war chief with uh, the rest of our team. Drop some turn meters. Heal physics. on everyone else and it will mean we'll also port into the boss with all our skills off cooldown. Here we'll open with the shield. We'll do a TM drop with Armiga who's my fastest to make sure everyone else gets a turn. With V6 
Analytics, I will decrease speed, and then with Cold Heart, I'm going to go for a Heart Seeker. I'll then delay this Cold Heart one turn, and from here, it should be full auto. So I have set AI override, so Visix will only use her A1 when on auto. Uh, both Cold Hearts will only use their A1 and A3. One of my Cold Hearts is actually in Reflex, so I can get back to the Heart Seeker more regularly. The other is in Destroy, so that this run doesn't take too long. Uh, I quite like Cold Heart in Destroy because the Heart Seeker does a good amount of damage, and you'll see each time we have the Destroy Cold Heart uh, right here, take a, a, a turn with the Heart Seeker, we'll get a good chunk of that shield destroyed. And then otherwise, you know, you've got Armager and V6 both with fantastic TM controls on their A1. And Metal Shaper is the fastest on the team, ensuring that we are under a shield the entire time. You can see we're keeping the shield down with you know fairly fairly easily uh, everyone has around 350 accuracy so we make sure that you know we're, we're going to be hitting the tm drops at all times other than the three percent resist um the benefit of of it not being too long a fight is if you do get really unlucky with three percent it's not going to take too long to rerun it. You can see we're, we're nearly through the shield now and it's not going to take too much longer. under six minutes it didn't take too long turns 224 not not quite my best <laughs> it's definitely not a zero turn run but uh you know it's pretty pretty good and we're we're using you know visix a reward champion two rare void champions in cold hearts yes they are very strong but we do have options that we could bring in, in place of them you could use multiple armagers even uh, Metal Shaper, another rare, only at level 40. If we edit the team, I will show you the run again, but this time with Allure in place of the Reflex Cold Heart. And in doing that, I will disable uh, other abilities, but I will allow Armager to do his A2, because with the extra turn meter control of Allure, I think Armago will be fine to occasionally use his A2 and uh, get a bit more damage out on the boss. Cold Heart will still leave the A2 off. That doesn't really matter because she's not even in Reflex. All right then. So if we go in again, this time with the Allure, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to be trying to ensure that we um, 
don't kill ourselves, basically. <laughs> second wave and a wave two we'll just do the exact same thing drop the turn meters kill the war chiefs for the soul list, drop the turn meter. Keep the A2, so we'll just go for A1 and the lure, and just keep controlling the turn meters with the A1s so we go through to the boss with all our skills off cooldown. the boss we will shield ourselves drop turn meter with a lure drop turn meter with armiger get the decreased speed out unfortunately it was resisted we should still be okay i'd like to get the decreased defense out we should be able to auto we'll drop the decreased speed once physics has it back off cooldown Should be now. Full auto from here now, we should be comfortable again. We're just going to wait for Cold Heart to use Destroy Heart Seeker and get the shield down, and it should be fine. see here like every so often we we keep the turn meter control so low with the lure there 
that um, Armager is able to come in with his A2, get the lay to rest, just get us a bit more damage. And over the course of a fairly long fight, that affinity breaker really does help reduce the RNG. Like we do get less weak hits, it's noticeable. That said, I still think the set is underpowered. I do think they need to buff it, but it's not as bad as some people make out. So there you go, we've done it again. Uh, similar time to to the run without Allure. 5 minutes 30 here, similar number of turns, around 2.30. So let's go and have a look at the champions and the builds. Our shielder has to be our fastest champion, and the boss runs at 250 speed. So I have Metal Shaper at 268 to give me a bit of margin above it. Uh, to be honest, you only need him to be your fastest champion. Whichever shielder you're using just needs to be your fastest. It could be that you're running all your champions under 255, in which case you don't even need him as fast as this. But I, I built at 268, mostly because my allure is pretty quick. I use her in my Fire Knight team. So my allure is 259, uh, obviously 100% crit, super important. You need to be critting to be reducing turn meter and enough accuracy to work anywhere in the game that I use her. Uh, for this boss, like I said, around 350 would be sufficient. Visix, I have built to do a bit of damage, so I've got a, a bit of crit and crit damage in her, but the the real key uh, thresholds here is, is around sort of 220 speed, 350 accuracy, and a bit, you know, a bit of damage to, to help with the waves. Armager, I've also put him above 250 speed, so you know if I'm showing you the team without Allure, Armager's the only one going before the boss, so his turn meter drop on the A1 Will, will give me the opportunity for all my other champions to take a turn before the boss does. If I didn't have any turn meter dropper above 250, the boss would take a turn before I'm able to, to reduce the turn meter and obviously the whole run would fall apart. So you have to have at least one turn meter control champion above 250 and it can't be V6 because she does the TM steal. For Armager, you also need 100% crit for the TM to drop to, to be triggered. Uh, and around 350 accuracy. The reflex cold heart that we showed in run one, around 200 speed, 70% crit, and enough accuracy. And then obviously just pump crit damage up to as high as you can once you've you've reached the other threshold. So 200 speed, 70% crit, 350 accuracy, and the rest in crit damage. The destroy cold heart around 200 speed. Anything 200 to 220 would be perfectly fine. 70% crit, again, super important. Over 350 accuracy, and then pump as much crit damage as you can. And that's that. Like I said, you could sub in other champions. You don't have to be restricted to just the champions that I've shown. As long as you're bringing what we need, um, which is decreased speed, maximum amount of TM control, Ideally, one or two that have TM control on an A1, such as Armager, Allure, V6, and then other champions that have TM control on a, an A2 or an A3, really looking for those 100% or fully deplete on a three or four turn cooldown. Like I said, the, the most popular ones would be Lissandra, Cold Heart, Soul Bond, Lure. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Any feedback is always welcome. And uh, good luck clearing Scarab. See you next time.